you examined several types of leadership. Situational leadership, servant leadership, for example, styles of leadership, and you made some comparison and contrasts. The visuals you made were overall quite impressive. Some of the similarities you found was this. The need to be aware of your followers' feelings. This is called emotional intelligence, or EI. It's awareness of your own emotions and how they impact your decision making, as well as the emotions felt by others. That's why empathy, the ability to put yourself in the other person's shoes to see things from their point of view, is a very critical piece of being a manager, of being a leader. Secondly, a leader has to have a very clear vision of where she or he wants to take both the organization and themselves on the career journey. Le many leaders can fail because they don't get the leadership vision thing. A vision is critical. A leader also has to be able to persuade others. That is, to build the business case for change. To persuade others, you have to listen. I mean, listen fully. I don't mean listen and uh, do your email. I don't mean listen and check your email as your incoming phone dings or your texting. You're listening, you're looking, you're locked into a conversation, and you show that you're listening by repeating back what the other person has said. That one confirms your understanding, because if you've repeated it back incorrectly, they'll correct you. Correct? They'll correct you. And number two, it indicates that you are actively listening. Changing an organization's viewpoint from a leadership perspective is not easy. It's challenging. You should identify the stakeholders, identify where the stakeholders stand on the issue, identify the stakeholders that other people look up to but may not necessarily hold a position of authority, and go to those individuals you've uh, identified and have a chat with them. Get them involved. Get them to be change agents or even change champions. People that will really go out and sell your ideas and sell your vision. Change champions are the highest form of change managers. Change agents at a lower level, and they're willing to help along in the change process. By listening to others, by having a clear vision, by communicating honestly and directly without a hidden agenda, without a hidden agenda, being transparent, you can motivate your followers to engage in the activities that you see the business needs. Well, I hope these insights about your work have brought up new ideas in your mind.